Okay, Raider Nation. It's your boy Raider John. There's something I just got to get off my chest right now. I was going off fucking line and I was reading up on this article about the cheerleaders and uh, exactly what's going on. You know what? I just got to say this right now. Whoever this motherfucker is, uh, Robin Abakarian, you're a fucking piece of shit. You don't know Jack, all right, man? I don't know what the fuck, uh, dude, this article pissed me the fuck off. There's a lot of things that were in this, that were in this, like, handbook. It was a cheerleader's handbook, right? And it was, it was probably made back in the 60s, and I ain't gonna front. A lot of it's straight up disrespectful to women. I, like, there's, there's a couple things in there that are just loony and stupid, and I ain't gonna, and I ain't gonna even front on that. But this guy just took every opportunity he could and just to make us look bad. Like I'm talking really make us look bad. He he went to the point of calling all raiders rapists. That's what that's pretty much literally what he fucking said. Um it was all because of a situation that happened occurred to for like um cheerleaders. They're not allowed to go to raider parties. They're not allowed to go to uh, players uh, if they throw a house party, they're not allowed to attend them. They're also not allowed to attend any birthday parties, house par- or like, or anything like that, due to a situation that occurred back in the day, where a bunch of Raiderettes would go to the um, players' parties, and on one of them, I guess, one of the players' parties that was th- one of the guys that was throwing the por- um, Raider parties got convicted of rape, which, yes, that's bad for Amish too, but like, basically said that that's bad for the the whole organization image. And this dude did a play on words and basically said, yes, ra- uh, that's right, all Raiders are rapists. And I honestly flipped out when I read this shit. It pissed me the fuck off. Look him up. I don't know who the fuck this fucker is, man. But all I gotta say is, fuck you, alright? How dare you fucking hate on my fucking Raiders, man. This this piece of shit actually went all the way down and just, like, fucking totally, just, like, dimin- uh, like, like made us look like shit. Here, here's the fucked up part though. Even the person that's filing the lawsuit, Lacey, what, um, Lacey, whatever her name is, she basically even stated it's not just the Raiders organization that is doing this. We, uh, the Raiderettes, are just the ones that grew balls and fucking stepped forward and said we are not getting paid what we deserve. And th- and yes, we are just like every other fucking team. Ninety percent, ninety percent, ninety percent of the teams in the NFL do not pay their fucking cheerleaders right. 90% of the teams in the NFL don't fucking treat their cheerleaders right. And yes, we just happen to fall under that 90%. The fucked up part is, we're be- because we're the Raiders, because we are the fucking Oakland Raiders, we are being fucking discriminated against by every single writer on the fucking news right now. I'm talking like every motherfucker just taking a shot at us left and right. It's getting on my fucking nerves. Like, for real, th- this motherfucker, if you read his article, it will piss you off. It will really piss you off. Anyways, uh, this dumb piece of shit um, basically just compare, uh, like said that the Raider organization is the equivalent of a Jim Crow law. Which, I don't know if you know what a Jim Crow law is. Uh, I believe it's those laws. I, I believe that's what it's called. It's those laws back in the day that basically said whites can't go have the same bathrooms as blacks and that this and that. And just separating everything. That we are so unfair, we're such a horrible organi- organization for letting this continue and blah, blah, blah. Look, man, um, I agree with a lot of the things that uh, cheerleaders are fighting for right now. Like, the, I don't think it's right that they were, weren't were getting paid. I don't think it's right that, you know, they were, um, you know, that there's a couple things in that in that handbook that are totally, you know, false and that sh- shouldn't even be uh should be up to date by now because it's those that fucking article was obviously made back in the 60s or some shit but i do not agree with you bashing a whole fucking organization over one fucking fault that every other fucking team in the nfl does the same shit it fucking pisses me the fuck off that we are being mis- mistreated right now by the media it's fucking uh, just really it's I getting out of hand, man. It's getting real fucking out of hand. That's pretty much what I want to talk about right now. Um, that's I just got pissed right now. I really got pissed. This fucking article just infuriated me. Uh, another thing going on uh, in the in the news. Uh, try and change the subject before I fucking flip out. Uh, there there's a couple articles talking about that we might trade up, and I honestly hope we don't. Uh, I know a lot of people say that if we if Mizell's at number four, we should trade up to get him. 
Come on, man. We need the plip. We need the picks. I say we wait and see what we get. We're either going to get Menzel. We're either going to get um, Watson. Um, uh, Sammy Watkins. Not Watson. Well, Watkins. Sammy Watkins. Or we're going to get, you know, so, uh, we're going to get someone good. Okay? No matter what, there's a lot of good players in this fucking draft, man. No matter who, you know, who we get. I don't, honestly, like I said before, I don't want a quarterback, but if we were to get a quarterback, we're, we would get, we'd probably get um, Menzel, like I said. That's who I want. That's in my mind. But I want Watkins. I want that wide receiver. That's my opinion. I want Clowney, if he's available. But, yeah. Anyways, um, and then there's one more thing. Um, so I was going on his Instagram, right? And I was just like, you know, just scrolling through. Come across this picture of uh, Raider sweats. And it's a girl wearing Raider sweats. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I look at it. It's Khloe Kardashian. And she's actually a Raider fan. And I was like, oh, damn, man. That's tight. I go through the comments and... Dude, we straight hate on her, man. It was sad. It was really sad. Everybody was hating on her, man. They were saying, oh, my God, I think I'm going to become a Niner fan now. Or there was another one that said, what the fuck? Get the, take that shit off. You disgrace my team. Or there was another one saying, why the why the fuck would God let this happen? <laughs> like, man, they were, they were fucked up shit. Like, oh, my God, we're, we're cursed because of this. We're going to lose every game next year. Just a bunch of fucked up shit. You know, honestly, it, I was laughing. Don't get me wrong. I was laughing my ass off when I was reading them. But, dude, you gotta admit, that's kind of fucked up. You know how hard it is to be a fucking famous person and actually come out and say that you're a Raider fan? That shit's hard. Think about it. I mean, everybody's fucking clowning you and you're, you're in the national media. Only motherfucker I know that actually comes out and says he is a fucking Raider fan and constantly reps our fucking team is Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube, he always reps our fucking team. He's a Raider fan to the max. He don't give a shit what the fuck you say. He is a straight-up Raider fan. They asked him, they actually interviewed him and said, who are you going for in the Super Bowl? He he looked at the guy like he was a fucking idiot. I'm going for, shit, I'm, I'm going for the Seahawks. He's like, why? Because I'm a Raider fan, bitch. Like, come on, think about it. Anyways, um... Uh, yeah, so Ice Cube, always repping, man. I love that guy. Straight up Raider fan, man. Anyways, um, I think there's a couple. There's a couple others. Don't, there's a couple other celebrities that are Raider fans. Uh, but a lot of them stay quiet, man. Ra uh, but Ice Cube, he ain't he ain't ashamed of being a Raider fan, man. He come out. He'll come straight out and say it. Um, by the way, if any of you wondering who I'm going for in the Super Bowl, who the fuck you think I'm going for? Come on, Seahawks. I'd never go for the fucking Broncos. I'll never go for a division rival unless they're facing another division rival. Okay? That's the only time I'll go for it, and that's only if, like, the other division rival has a higher record and I want them to lose. So, plain and simple, uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you want to look this guy up and maybe, you know, post a comment about how much he's full of shit and uh, how much he's a fucking hater... Uh, his name is Robin Abakarian. Uh, look him up. I don't know who the, f I don't know what kind of writer he is. All I know is every single fucking thing was straight up hate, man. Like, and I, like I said, be prepared because a lot of it, it, it'll like be like, what the fuck were we thinking? This organization fucked up big time by, um, leaving that handbook in there because they're just going in on us with it right now. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, but so like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think i'm pretty pissed right now so i'm gonna go ahead and just have a beer and kick back and watch some tv or some shit uh so go raiders <laughs>